welcome. We're in LA. LA, no, not LA as in LA. LA as in the Leicestershire area. What do you think I meant? I went LA about three months ago. Let's do this. Here we are in the heart of Leicestershire. I wish it was LA folks, but hey ho, been there, done it. Would it go back? Probably. Anyway, let's move on to this one. Today we are here because I've seen something arrive on this touring site that actually has interested me for the first time. Instead of looking at diesel motorhomes and big caravans where they come with two diesel cars, never understood that, but hey ho. Today we are looking at something very different, a brand new UK spec caravan being towed by a Tesla Model X. Let me show you that baby there. So let's go over and take a closer look. This is a Coachman Lusso, top spec Lusso, being towed by a very nice Tesla Model X in the best colour, in my opinion. Probably made sentry mode come on, so I will wish <laughs> the owner good day. <laughs> I probably made sentry mode come on there, never thought of that. So there you go, that's what he's actually using. Uh, 2018 Model X Gullwing and all the rest of it, all the joy and, and loveliness of the Tesla, towing what you see behind it. To give you an idea on length, you've got probably three foot there difference and I think he's level with the front no if you, if you look at the a-frame as well it's another really another three foot so the caravan overall is six foot longer than this so let me just give you a full little close-up of what he's towing all you uh, caravan buffs out there will know what this is straight away um, all the spec I'm sure that the owner of this will tell us when we meet him his name is Gary and there's the rear coachman Lusso supplied by Norwich Caravans I believe so there you go that's what we've come to see today and that is what he tows it with as you can see proper Tesla fitted one so let's do this let's meet Gary and get into this <laughs> Whatever. Right, morning Gary. Good morning. The owner of this lovely thing, like I say. We're going to find out some facts and how he feels regarding towing that beautiful thing there with this beautiful thing here. So Gary, what made you choose a Tesla for towing? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can edit your answer. <laughs> oh God. Um... I don't think I actually, I think it was the other way round. I already had the car. Right. I decided to start camping and I gradually progressed up from um, folding campers, which are quite small, yep. and found out actually it wasn't so much of an issue and finally took the plunge to take a gamble on buying something as big as this. Right, cool. What was your first Tesla you had? So I had a Model S back in 2016, which was a a Model 90 rear wheel drive, which is quite unusual. Whereas this is the 100 UK. anyway. So, so this is a 100D yeah, okay. Model X. Right. So normal range out of this. Summertime, I can probably get 220, 230 okay. as a range. Okay. Um, are you being conservative at that or are you being quite... 
I, I never drive particularly slowly. Right, um, okay. But if I was, I suppose on a a normal drive, I could I would probably get 200 and if I... So you're pretty happy to say that you're guaranteed, and if you kept to the 200 figure, you'd get that all the time. Yes. Guaranteed, no matter how you drive it. Yes. So there you go, you've heard it first from a Model X owner. And then what happens then when you've hooked up, you're ready to go, you're fully charged, what's the range towing this thing? Right, I'm at pushing it to the limit, I think I could get 130 miles out of it. You heard it, 130 miles. I'm going to stop Gary there. If you live in the Midlands like I do, 130 miles will get me down to the other side of London. It would get me across to the East Coast where all oh, that lovely coast can be seen and used up to Scarborough, all the way down to Skegness and further down. So that 130 miles, as long as I've got somewhere to go and charge this thing up when I get there and I've unhooked the caravan, I can't see any problem with that. Have you ever found it problematic? No, not at all. Um, on, a, on a longer journey, I tend to stop at motorway services. I have, yes, I have to unhook, which is probably the biggest pain of it, yep. but not major because now I've just adapted the way I actually travel. So we will have breakfast perhaps in the caravan at the yep. motorway services yep. as opposed to having it home before we leave. Makes sense. Uh, walk the dog, etc. And usually I find out we've actually, the car charges quicker than we have actually have time to have breakfast and do other things. That was a, that was a, a good question coming up. Okay, we've come indoors now into the uh, Luso and, or Lu is it Luso or Luso? Luso. Luso. We've come in the Luso. Gary has allowed me to just show you quickly around this, just to show you what he's, he's actually towing, more than anything else. So I'm going to start from the dinette, or should I say the sofa area. Very, very nice, beautiful finish in here. This pulls up. I'm not going to go into super detail. Got the normal caravan stuff above here. Also, good thing about this caravan, full air conditioning which is marvellous very nice fittings full kitchen as you can see top of the range unit no doubt about that russell hobbs full bed this would pull out towards that way as well and get bigger if you wanted it bigger uh, and then in here as we go through hello we have separate toilet great looking shower and yes it is a home from home so that is what he's towing behind the back of the blue Tesla out there. So that gives you a bit of an idea of what's behind him as he's doing it. Oh, okay, we'll come inside as you know. Gary's gonna answer some, some more questions rather than being out there in what is a, a bit of a chilly morning. So Gary, back to it. Range when you're towing, explain. So it's about half of what I would normally get. At a push, I can get it to 130 miles as a maximum right from 100 percent charge okay i tend now to stick to 50 as a maximum speed even on dual carriageway okay unless i actually find a lorry to strip slip stream right what is the is it still 65 or 55 for camera it's caravan 60 now? it's 60 on a dual carriageway 60. 50 on a single carriage so it's not far beyond the so-called legal speed limits anyway. Um, so it's not going to be holding anybody up or whatever, or thinking, oh, that's a slow electric car towing. It's not at 50, 55, and then slipstreaming. It's as good as any truck you're going to get behind, that's for sure, and some cars. And I've, I've been behind caravans towing, large caravans with small cars, and they're struggling up and down Dale like no tomorrow. So I think that's quite good. I think that's quite good. So as regards the range, you again, we, we spoke outside. You've been happy with that range. It's not put you off. T towing with a Tesla at all? No, and I've just adapted what I tend to do in a day. Yeah. So I've tried to limit myself now on a, as a maximum journey distance in a day of about probably 250 miles to make it comfortable for me. Okay. So, i.e., squeezing in two charges. Yeah. En route. Yeah. Um, I unhook in the caravan pitch and let out the motorway services unless i can get there really early yeah yeah, yeah. and then i will just block some charges do you think in the future that we will have 
caravan charge points for electric cars where you don't have to unhook like they're, they're putting in America at the moment? I think we need to do. It's, yeah. uh, it's yeah. a must and, and just plant, plant the charger halfway down the bay. Yeah, yeah. So therefore it's between the caravan Correct. and- Correct, 100%, 100%. Car. I think as well as trucks, smaller trucks come on board, maybe the length of this and a bit more, they're gonna need the same capability. So I, I can see where you're coming from yeah. now, 100%. So what Gary's saying there basically is that Everything can be done the same as any petrol or diesel vehicle. Do not expect the instant pulling torque of a diesel when you pull in with a Tesla. Although saying that, there's a question for you. How do you go on with that? Do you feel it? Can you put your foot down and it, it goes? Yes, and actually it's surprising. I actually don't, I, I can actually out drag some ordinary cars towing. You're hearing it first, folks. You're hearing it first, okay. Um, towing something like this because the, the power is almost, it's there instantly. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's no, I, I don't see, I'm not trying to naught to 60 with it because mm -hmm, that'd be mm -hmm. sort of daft. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, well, I suppose it has been done on YouTube somewhere, but we're yes. not doing it today. Can I just add that? <laughs> but but I don't really notice that it, it's any, any real lack of performance. Mm, it's, uh, good, good. So did you tow with your Model S? No. Uh, no time with that at all? Because the Model S isn't, capable of towing. This is the point of brought up, that was a question, he's answered it very well. It's the same as my Model 3. I can only tow a thousand kilos. Uh, the Model Y is 1.6, I believe. So at the end of the day, for me to tow with my Model 3, it would be a rather small unit, or maybe even a, like you, you had before. A folding camper. A folding camper. So there is limitations still, but we spoke about this yesterday before filming, and we kind of both agreed uh, that there will be some form of towing pack that you will buy for an EV in the future if it can't cope with this size of unit or anything to be honest and I think towing figures are going to go through the roof and I believe what is the maximum towing rate of that vehicle outside? So that's 2,300 kilos. Okay so 5,000 pound whatever near as damn yeah not far off that's one hell of a towing figure that that's, that's a lot of weight and even for some American travel trailers that's pretty damn good so if you're in the US and you've got a Model X, please comment below and, and any questions you've got for Gary, throw it at him and I will reply and get replies from him and, and we'll sort something out. So yeah, I, I hope this has been very good for people who have always called Teslas and Tesla owners for not being able to tow. Well, here's your proof. Here's the man who's actually doing it on, I won't say a daily basis, but every weekend or whatever. Uh, quite a lot. That's he does it quite a lot. So how many miles do you think you've towed with the Model X, roughly? Mm. Couple of thousand? Several thousand. Several yeah. thousand. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And it's never let him down. Can I just also say that? Unlike some diesels and petrol cars that have been towing for a while and overheat, you don't get that with that thing outside. So remember that is another bonus with EVs. You don't get this struggle and this keeping the heat down in an engine block. You've got a Tesla. Anything you want to add, Gary? I suppose you some useful figures on what I'm actually towing. So yes. this thing weighs um just over 1900 kilos because it's it's plated up the the higher plate level that you can do for Decent, heavy the Luso. so yeah, it's yeah it's 18 something is standard and you could get another 100 kilos right um as a replate it's 7.3 meters long yeah. it is maximum height is 2.7 meters and it's 2.4 meters wide so right. it is quite okay. a beast Oh, in that case, I will bring something up. Again, we spoke about this yesterday when I first met him. I'm really glad he came on site. And that is the, the fact that when you're behind something, and he's made this point quite clear to me yesterday, it really doesn't matter how big the unit is. It's all about that CD factor of the Tesla into the vehicle. And you've noted that as well, haven't you? On yes. towing capability. Yeah, it's, the weight of what you're towing doesn't really affect the range. It is the aerodynamics that's a great of point. What you're towing. Yeah, that's a great point. Because a lot of people seem to think that the bigger the unit, the less it's going to tow. And, and I think Gary's proved that, that it's not necessarily the term. I suppose if you're on windy highways in the USA, you know, in extreme conditions, it will be a different thing because you'll have this against the wind and everything else and blah, blah, blah. But again, it's all down to CD factor, even what I've just said there. So, yeah, it, it's, it's a lovely caravan. I've got to, you know, admire him for his taste. Uh, great Model X outside. And... I'm going to have a walk around the Model X now and, and do some close-ups and stuff. And uh, just thank Gary for doing this for me. Thank you thank so you. much, mate. I'm glad I met you. Um, he has got a Facebook site called... 
uh, at the moment it's called Tesla question mark question mark question mark question mark or bust 2024 okay now what they do on that they each year uh, a team of Tesla owners go on a jaunt a good jaunt so I hear uh, all over the place into Europe, etc. I don't know if you're going to do a UK one, or are you just uh, back into Europe. Or uh, we all, I always do Europe, but there is another group who do some UK okay, rallies as well. So check that out. Check that out. He's the man behind most of it all. So uh, it's on Facebook. Join. He'll accept you if you've got a Tesla. You never know if you want to get involved with these people. I think it's going to be great. A uh, bit of a, a place to go and a place to look forward to. You know, in the summer. What would you do? You don't do it winter wise, do you? No, we've no, always picked early summer so cool so we can explore mountain areas but without yeah, yeah the road yeah. being closed with snow and it's just cars only you don't tow no it's, that's just in the car it's just in the car so it's with a group of good people that you know yeah so it's any tesla and so far we've been to uh, monte carlo gibraltar and this year we did split in croatia right there you go folks you've heard it first so get on that facebook site uh, or group should i say and uh, ask to join if you've got a tesla He'll vet you first, of course, and then allow you to join. So that's it here from this sitting, this lovely dry caravan. I'm going to get it back out there now, and hopefully the sun's just starting to break, I believe, and we'll call it a day. Thanks. OK, be silly not to while I'm here to have a quick look at this. Uh, I love this colour in the X, I must admit. So here it is, is the uh, Model X, and basically touch and go, and opens the door, as you see there. My, the Model 3 doesn't do that. So if you've never seen inside a Model X, there you go. Obviously, going doors, etc. Back seat down at the moment. Very nice thing. Very nice thing. And if anyone calls finishing quality, I don't get it because I, this to me is finished off very, very well. Massive screen in the middle. Up. And of course, you've got your screen in front of you, unlike the Model 3 and Y. So, yes, super looking car. Super looking car. Very nice indeed. Going doors come up, obviously. And similar lights to all others but uh, this is uh, this comes up in a, on and off up and down at speeds so there you go that's what he tows with that's the model x soft closing doors there you go beautiful cool thank you gary again i will see you later sir so there you go heard it from the horse's mouth i.e gary's mouth about towing with a Tesla, especially uh, a Model X. Not a lightweight unit, that. Not a small unit either. So I hope this helps anybody who wants to tow with a Tesla. I think we can take from this, you're gonna get around 50 to 60% of your full charge when you're towing anything behind a Tesla, which to me is great. I mean, if you, if you buy one with, which is long range anyway to begin with, or has got the battery capacity to give you that range to begin with, then I think that range it gives you is good enough for the UK especially with all the charges going up now and the rapid charges going up and everything else, and all the Tesla superchargers, which as say, Gary has mentioned, he just unlocks this thing and then goes and charges. So it's no big deal. Unlike some of the YouTube channels I've watched before on here that have called it black and blue and said that, you know, you can't do anything with a, a Tesla towing and they've called the Ford Lightning and all the rest of it. Maybe right if you live in America, if you're one of my American viewers and you want to do three to 400 mile in a day, you know, with ease, then maybe electric is not quite for you yet. If you're not willing to stop for a coffee or you're not willing to stop for a rest after say a couple of hundred mile. Hope this has been informative. Hope you've liked it. First time I've actually found somebody with the right car and the right tow vehicle. So it's been a bit of a, a good one for me to get hold of and do, always wanted to do it. I enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you like this uh, channel. I know you do, my subscriber base is going up. Um, and we'll get on to our next one. Keep safe, people.